nice. How we doing tonight? Can you be here? Uh, nice. Uh, cold evening here on the 12th of February, 2021. Really cool jazz music. Bump it up a little bit more. There we go. All right. Hey, let's knock that off right now here. Uh, in Charlton right now, it's 22 degrees. All right. We're getting uh, bracing for uh, more snow. Um, but that's not the point. All right. We know that happens every year. All right. What we need to do is to make sure that uh, with COVID, uh, a lot of us are shut in and uh, we need to connect with people, make sure everybody is all right. You know, not from physically shoveling snow out, but um, you know, it's been a tough time, a tough time, certainly. And uh, what we don't need, um, what we don't need, and good evening, everybody. Uh, can you be here from Cities and Suburbs, a video? Uh, I'm not going to be too preachy here tonight, but God Almighty help me. Uh, Lynn, Massachusetts, 19 uh, vehicles um, were assaulted and their tires slashed, you know. Um, I can go right here to uh, uh, Channel 5, uh, WCVV-TV, you know, and uh, Lynn, and Lynn, okay, I was sleeping. This was a guy, man. I was sleeping, and my son woke me up because he had to go to work early around 5 o'clock, and... He had flat tire and 16, uh, uh, nine cars on his property are now, uh, now needs to replace 16 tires. Okay. Slashing tires. Um, they cut my son's and my daughter's and my wife's tires, he said. So they were unable to go to work. All right. So. Two months ago, we had in Worcester um, people I, I, and young people throwing bricks through on uh, people who were driving vehicles. Okay, they were driving around throwing uh, bricks into people who were driving oncoming vehicles, and this one gentleman who's has a GoFundMe page, and uh, was seriously, physically, uh, life-altering uh, conditions to this guy because of those stupid people that do that. You know, I speak to that because it's Worcester and uh, Lowell and Lynn and, you know, uh, you know, when our our inner city is going to really, really, I, I'm, I, I'm not trying to be a pessimist. We have Polar Park coming in. It is certainly a transitional neighborhood that the park is going into right off of 290. Uh, right now, uh, they are in a major hiring event, by the way, if you want to work for for the, uh, the Woo Sox, and uh, there's so much great stuff going around. And those are the things we need in our inner cities, right? We need uh, a ballpark like Worcester. And Worcester deserves that, you know? So let's compliment the surrounding areas, you know? Um, but I don't understand the, uh, the, you know, the transition right now. Um, why people would slash tires? Why would people uh, throw bricks, you know, into uh, 
you know, into oncoming vehicles and actually hurt people. I mean, there's enough going on right now, I think, with COVID, <laughs> by the way, and people are scrambling right now to, to even if you're 65, 75 or older, where, where do I get my shot? Uh, uh, so I think, you know, I'm, I'm not being preachy, but man, you know, let's, let's, uh, you know, look out for one another and improve our neighborhoods and, you know, um, I mean, I walk through Worcester sometimes and I, I, not sometimes, all the time, <laughs> but, uh, we could be doing a little bit better in terms of helping one another out. So, um, you know, clean up your community a little bit, get involved. Um, yeah, so Polo Park is uh, holding a major uh, hiring event on the February 20th and February 21st uh, of, uh, and you have to be registered for this event. And, uh, but it promises uh, 300 uh, positions uh, in Worcester and uh, you know what I do what I what and it's it, it eventually I mean 21,000 I mean 2100 people uh, per per game um, was not exactly what we hoped for for the uh, grand opening of uh, Polar Park, but we'll take that, you know. Again, I, I care more about the, the local restaurants and things like that that are hurting right now. Um, eventually, we're going to get out of this. We'll be, we'll be back, to, uh, back in the game, no doubt about it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's the surroundings that, you know, a, a, like a ballpark, like Polar Park, it will excite so much uh, activity and positive activity, we hope, in that community. And uh, again, it's an older industrial community, the old Wyman Gordon uh, uh, site, if you will. And uh, so, man, I am looking forward to it. But uh, so don't get too absorbed with the weather, guys. I mean, because I'm. I'm, I'm telling you, man, I am really not listening to much of the weather, and I'm going to ditch off onto some, uh, yeah, some music for you, but uh, what are your thoughts? What, what do you think? Uh, what are you doing this weekend now that uh, Tom Brady and uh, Gronkowski and the Tampa Bay Patriots uh, have won the Super Bowl once again? What are your thoughts, guys? We'll talk to you soon. And uh, sorry if I didn't hit every spot tonight, but good to see you again. All right, take care.